So we come down this morning and I had to show you this. We were quite amazed at how bright, just by painting this small section of white wool and half of the archway yesterday, how much difference it made. We haven't opened up the shutters yet and we did leave in a bit of a hurry last night to go and get some materials, so left in a mess. But it is coming on so well. Days like this, you just want to get up and get on with it. So that's what we're going to do. I might carry on with this arch. We haven't got much undercoat left, unfortunately. So we might have to wait for that until we get back to England. But it's so much brighter. Still walking along the planks. And... Adrian decided he had to go this way so that he'd get another full length joist in along the side. And I'm sure he'll explain that to you later. A few people have asked about if we're spraying the beams. So the answer is yes. We've already sprayed these once, or maybe twice. Three times a lady. <laughs> and we're just doing them again. Um, give them a good coat. We'll do this side, let them dry overnight, and do the second side tomorrow night. Obviously, Adrian will then have to get underneath to spray the underside. Yes. But all the old beams and the new will be treated for prevention and cure with xylophen, which is what we and all the other chateau owners use. Except the spray has stopped. The spray has stopped because <laughs> it's probably empty. Right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back. <laughs> well, it's been most of the way down. Um, made a decision last night. They say who dares wins. So I'm gonna go for it and get the rest of the flooring up on this side, get new joists in, and hopefully get all of it down, ready for the big party. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I mean, we're working 12 hour days, but I suppose we could work 18, couldn't we, Carol? What big party? We're only having a small gathering. I was gathering. It's only a few people. You sound like Beth now. She says that it's not a party, it's a gathering. So yeah, we're going for it, yes? <laughs> Well, there won't be any parquet flooring back down. There's no point um, preparing all the parquet, sanding it all off. There's no chance of getting that down and dried in time. Um, so what's the point of putting it down bare Great. with so many people, small gathering people coming <laughs> through? This is only a small party. No, it's absolutely um, true, isn't it? You only need to drop one drink and red wine, say, not that we're having red wine, and that's ruined your floorboards. Drinks as well, eh? All food. And but yeah. I'm just putting up the first coat of the colour that I'm going for on the mouldings and the architraves. Ooh. Um, only because purely I can only work up this end because you're down that end. Well, there's going to be no floor in the next hour or so down that end, so uh, yeah, you're forbidden from down there. Don't I know it? I can't get into any of the rooms. <laughs> so, parking yeah. not going down. I'll, if I get a chance, which may happen, I might start prepping it ready. But actually, we haven't decided what finish we're going to do on the floor in anyhow. So, what's the point of putting it down? I personally think it needs to be dark because you're not going to be taking up the stairs. Well, let me and show. And that is dark. So, it needs to continue through. 
So and I mean, the dark wood goes really beautifully with the blue of the walls and the white and the cream. So it won't be like the salon. It'll I think it'll be more like it is. Yes. Okay. Well, you're the designer. Um, so. And just one point. Oh, hold on, everyone. Have, hold on. I have a bigger brush in my hands today. Ah, uh, but not a roller. Give me time. I can't roll with a moldings, <laughs> can I? Well, one to add to uh, Carol and I's to-do list, we could do without it, but I don't, um, our sort of earlier followers, remember, we cleared this wall and uncovered, I'll show you there, the gate. This is right next to our large field, and we trimmed all that back, chainsawed it all back. Look at it now, unbelievable. But we do need to go on top of it because um, we're really meant to keep the pathway cleared. So uh, any basketball players walking down here, very unlikely, but they are going to have to go onto the road. So, uh, again, also, most of that's bramble, thankfully, but there is ivy again creeping in. So, uh, we've got this party going. Good thought might be is to uh, give everyone a clippers and see, and a few buckets and see what we can do. But somehow, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, expose the joists. They're pretty good, actually, until you get underneath the radiator. I started to wonder if there was ever a leak actually, because um, there, I don't know if I can, you might be able to see actually, but this area here, really not good at all actually, but again, it doesn't matter. Um, I did have an arm on a couple of these, but do you know what? Replace a lot, why are we worrying about it? I'll stop there just for the moment. I'll be honest, I was actually knackered. <laughs> Cow's right, I'm getting old. I thought stuff there, it's a nice day, so I've just been out for a good run. If I come back, good old Carol. She decided to have a go and start sanding up these stairs, which, wow. So the sun's now come round, hasn't it, to this sort of far side, the east, uh, sorry, the west, I mean, and the sun coming through this window really lights up this, even more so now, doesn't it? Well, it wasn't really my intention to start this, but I've been dying to do it for ages, but I needed your advice on something and you weren't here, so I thought, oh. oh. I'll just do it since you've made a mess. I'll make a mess and then we can clear up together. Yeah, I've made actually that bad a mess, really. I mean, compared to what I make. Anyway, yes, it's. I need to get the long handled sand out in a minute. Right. Um, Good. See how high I can go. I thought you were going to go on my shoulders because that's my then. No. That's a long way up, actually, isn't it? That's not four metres, that's um, even more. I think my handle's three. Three metres at least. Oh, you are on my shoulders then. Oops. No, my handle's three metres. I can get up I'm joking. There. I'm only joking, no. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like you've had a long day. I've been in the sun. Have you? I left you gardening and I thought, oh, okay. I want, I, I was started this. Go on then, show me. So, we'll show I started us. and I've left all the paint up there. Right. I started doing the trim. Okay, so. The oh. Colour. I can see it, yes. Can you see it? I can. I'm just going to see if it's pretty obvious in the case, because sometimes the camera shows it more. Um, yes, it's subtle, which is what you want to build, isn't it? Yeah, right now, stand back. Oh, I don't like the sound of this, really. Go on then. I hate walking backwards, just in case. What's your opinion? From here. Don't look at me, look up. Oh. Uh, look up. What's my opinion? I don't know, darling. I can't. <sighs> my opinion. It looks all the same to me. <laughs> I prefer it white. I prefer it all white. So what is white up there so is the that actual... that side has got the extra colour on it. Gotcha. That side is just white. And I prefer it white. So I'm saving my expensive paint. Are you? Yeah. That colour, can I ask, because I'm thick. So the arch that goes over. Yeah, the arch is that off colour as ah, well. Ah, I was going to say, because that really looks different. Right, okay. So what I'm thinking is, that's all going to be white. We'll have the blue. Yeah. Then I will contemplate what to do with the panel, because we don't want it all white. No, it will look like a hospital. Like me. <laughs> so it's just trial and error. But, see, it's a silly to say it, but you can always add it later. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'll put all that away and that's going so well, I might just carry on. Go for it. And then okay. you can help me clear up. I'm not sure if I've got the energy to uh, carry on the floor, but no. tomorrow... You can get the hoof out though. I've got to get Joyce anyhow, so what's Look. the point? Look. Oh, I forgot about your 
tapestry. You can go, don't worry. I'm not a lover of the tapestry, so I'm not that fast. I can go on the top floor. Yeah, no, no, no. Right, the, worst, the worst bit is the fact that it just keeps going and going. So uh, once you uh, pop, you can't stop. So, um, and the deer are going outside for a wash. <laughs> okay, let them graze. So I've done as much as I possibly can of sanding these walls. I can get to the top, but I just don't have the energy to carry on anymore. So, and I had to leave time for us to be clear up, but as I was clearing up, I realized that I'd show you what the stairs look like when they're dark. This, I've just washed them, so they will dry out, but I think that carrying on the dark oak throughout the hallway on the floor is the best option, personally. Poor old Henry, he's feeling as exhausted as I am. He's overworked and I think he might need a filter changing, but that makes such a difference up there in the hallway. Well, that wasn't too bad a day. I uh, managed to get the, as you probably saw on the time lapse, the floor removed completely, almost down to the toilet. I'm gonna just stop there for the moment because the, bee, the actual drawers go the other way from there onwards. So uh, let me get this finished and then make a decision to carry on a bit further. A uh, few more joists to put in. Then I need to give it a good spray and then we can initially get the OSB board down. But unfortunately, I was hoping to finish that tonight. Uh, but I've just been told shopping is in order. So we've got to go food shopping. Obviously we can't go on Sundays when they're shut. So uh, needs must, back tomorrow. Well, as Carol's busy painting in the uh, in the hallway, I thought I'd better do trimming outside, but uh, what a better way to use my van at the moment. So uh, now that's become my workshop. Right, let's get trimming these OSB boards for the side.
full dust away. Now I won't have a go at me. Right, that's most of the floor down, or certainly for the party, as you can see. So on top of that, we'll go to the parquet, so it doesn't need to be the cleanest of cuts uh, into the edges. <laughs> Good job as well, as you can see. Uh, the end bit, I've actually just put a, um, a full sheet of paper for the moment on top of there, just so we've got a walkway up to the toilet, which I'm sure is going to be used. Uh, uh, gathering, as I've been told, not party, gathering. But the reason being is that with these, so we've got uh, one sheet, two sheet, and a half sheet uh, across, and of course they're staggered. So this sheet that I'm pointing at here stops there. So that's a whole sheet all the way down. But on this side, because it's staggered, in fact, there you go, you can see the join there. That probably stops about there. So I've got this gap here, and that's the best way for me to, uh, is just literally support it, put an eight before sheet down. And then when I actually go to do the next sheet, which is from there, we'll go, a full two and a half meters will go to the end wall. So that's the reason that I'm having to do that on that end. And exactly the same on that end. Uh, there's no reason getting myself that stairway or around the stairway into where the wardrobe is. Well, that is going to be quite a mission, and that's not going to be an overnight quick sort out in time for Carol's party. <laughs> but hey ho, we got there. People can come in. We got the use of the salon and the dining room door. I think that's job done. Well, I've explained what I've been doing. My floor's partially down. What have you been up to? My walls are partially done. <laughs> so Brilliant. all the walls have had two coats now. I've primed, I've sanded and primed all this set of drawers here now. They've been filled also. Uh, as you know, that arch is undercoated as well. There's a bit more filling and down to be done there. And? And now I've got to carry on with the nasty job of finishing getting the flaky paint off of these arches, which is my worst job ever. <laughs> Thought you were landing a helicopter then. <laughs> Reach for the sky. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible job, isn't it? The, uh, the sandy bit, although you've done half, so you've done, there's four arches, you've done two. Oh, and two bigger ones, we've got the two semi ones to do, one set of doors, there's two more double sets of doors, yes. the window frames, the wood storages, looking forward to doing the radiators, I might do them a one coat before too long now. Okay. Um, I just have to be a bit careful, when you're bashing around with the walls. I'm well, I'm floor. sorry. Um, yeah, I know. Blocking the paintwork. Not anymore. Which is why I'm not doing the bottom halves and the skirting because I know that when you put the parquet down, you will be knocking them. So we're not doing below. The no, no. I'll start prepping that actually soon. But obviously, that's not going down before the party. But yeah. And up the other end, you've probably already seen that it's so much brighter. It is. I showed that actually earlier. And uh, now you've scrubbed the walls as well. What a difference. It really is. You call me a scrubber. You scrubber. Well, you scrubbed up well then. It's come up. Oh, except I had seen you had a good old chip away at the wall up there. It fell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so do you fancy coming for a bike ride? Yeah, mm. I think I'd rather paint the radiators. <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell.